Uh, really proud of the team. It was a really hard fought game. Um, the field right now, due to the weather, is obviously not great. And uh, as a result, sometimes, uh, certainly for right now, the soccer, you have to find your moments, pick your moments to play well. And in the moments that you can't play based on the field, then you just have to be able to grind. And at the end of the day, that's the thing I really, um, really am pleased with, is that <clears throat> at times it was difficult to play. The conditions are somewhat difficult. And uh, they just didn't quit. And they hung in there and they fought and fought and fought. And uh, obviously earned a really good result for themselves. So that's Connor Cape, L2 Sports Radio. Hey, Robin, tonight you were without Danny Wilson, who's been so integral in the back line for the last couple of years for you, but it seemed like it was a seamless transition for you guys to shut down that first meeting. What is your technique for keeping that sort of cohesive stability along the back line, no matter who's playing? I think really good understanding of the principles that we try to adhere to. And we talk about it so much, we talk about them so much, that... <clears throat> The team has a really good grasp of what they're, of what they should be doing, and how they should relate to each other defensively. And uh, you look at a game like tonight, like you said, Danny's been in so often. We're missing him tonight, but we just have so many players that are on the same page that uh, we feel like, and that's one of the things I really love about this team, is that if we do have injuries, if we do make changes, um, guys come in and they know they know their roles. And I think that's really important uh, over the course of a season because you are going to have to change players from time to time. And uh, I think we, we sub quite a bit anyway. But uh, the key to it is that everyone knows what is expected of them and know what, knows what their role is supposed to be when they go in. And as a result, we can, we can make changes and, and uh, still have that sort of cohesive effort. Go to Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Um, you know, him being so tenacious and effective tonight? I think all of last year, Diego was struggling with injuries. And as a result, we never saw the best of Diego last year. Uh, he had a good preseason this year. He's trained extremely hard. He's very fit. And because he's playing well, he's very confident. And the thing is, Diego helps us. In so many areas of the field, he helps us build out. He helps us hold the ball. He's a good passer. Uh, but the thing that he's really determined this year is to do all of that and get back in front of the goal. And um, you know, over the last two games, we've seen a really, really good version of Diego where he helps all over the field but is still a goal threat constantly, whether he himself or putting passes into dangerous areas. So he's, he's in very good form right now. Turn to Brian Jennings, Brian D-Wave. Hey, thanks, Robin. Um, good to see you again. <laughs> Tonight, um, I, I was, and, and tell me if I'm fishing a little bit, but I really like the positioning of the guys, not only defending, you know, whether it needed to be in the box, but also, for example, on that second goal, you know, Beta hammers the ball in there and, and Mark Anthony's sitting right where he needs to be. Can you give us an idea of, you know, is that something that's getting to be inherent with this group or they're just, they find a way to get there effort wise. Well, yeah, you bet. With regard to set pieces, I think the positioning is something we talk about a lot within the run of play and guys have a good understanding about the spots we need them to take up and the reasons we need them to take up those spots. But when it comes to set pieces, <clears throat> Sharpie is the best there is. Chris Sharp, our goalkeeper coach, who does the set pieces, he is the best that I've ever seen. He is more detail-oriented than anyone I've ever seen put together set pieces. And between video and discussions and going over it on the field, our team is so, so well prepared for set pieces offensively and defensively that <clears> – <throat> 
our record over the last number of years speaks for itself. And it has a lot to do with service. It has a lot to do with guys who have qualities to score goals. But it all starts with the fact that Sharpie is as good as anyone I've ever seen. So guys know their roles. And they know where they're supposed to be. And, like, I, I can't overemphasize the fact that guys know every single aspect of where they're supposed to be based on Sharpie's um, his analysis of the opponent. And uh, as a result, it's it's really kind of fun to watch us when it comes to set pieces because they're so well choreographed and coordinated that uh, it's not a mystery why we've scored as many goals as we have recently over the last number of years. We'll go back to Matt. Hi, hey Robin. Bit of a sentimental question. How nice was it to see former Rapid Courtney Ford out on the field in an MLS game tonight? Yeah, Courtney's had a, <clears throat> a really long battle getting back to playing. And after being out for a number of years, uh, he started to get on track at the end of last year. Uh, it was great. He went to San Antonio and played some games. He was influential. He scored some goals. Uh, played a really important role for that team. Um, unfortunately for us, we weren't able to keep him. Kansas City picked him up. And to see him play in an MLS game, an MLS game was extremely gratifying because I know how long a road it's been for him to to get back, and I was really excited to see him get on the field. Back to Brian. Robin, I, I feel a little remiss if we didn't touch base on Will Yarbrough's match tonight. I mean, because I know he won't take credit for it, but how important were those, you know, that goal line save and the one down at the other end? Yeah, Will is um, – I was actually thinking about this today, and <clears> – <throat> how he's a little bit of an unknown entity in this country because he's played his whole career in Mexico. A couple of national team games um, some years back. But he's definitely an unknown entity in this country. And for me, he's one of the best goalkeepers I've been around, not just because of – you guys see the saves. You guys see the saves. You see, you know, good distribution. You see the things that are obvious based on how he plays – but what he brings to this team <clears throat> is so much more than what you guys see. What he does in the locker room, how he talks to players, how he drives people, how, he's, um, how he leads is, is just incredible. And on top of all of that, he's a really good goalkeeper that makes a lot of saves. But um, I, I'm incredibly happy to have him. He's, he's a, an integral part of this team. And not just because of the saves, but because of everything else that he does for us. Go to Sydney Cohn, ColoradoRapids.com. Um, another player that, that made an appearance tonight for the first time, um, Darren Yappy. Uh, what kind of led to the decision to put him in the lineup for today? And then what do you see just for his future here at the club? I first saw Darren, <clears throat> I think two preseasons ago, he was 15. And he was about... 5'10", and half the weight that he is now. And uh, certainly was a promising prospect for us. And following him over the last couple of years and watching his progress, he is really becoming a very interesting player for us. Um, and at 17, to have his size and pace and power and uh, developing prowess in front of the goal, it's important that we give these players an opportunity to start to play and start to shine. Uh, he's a player that I think is going to be very good for us. And to have an opportunity to get him into the game, I thought I was really happy to be able to do that. Uh, both he and Seb. Seb's a young player who's been here a lot, uh, been here for a long time, uh, played some first team minutes, played with the second team, had a really good year last year with the uh, switchbacks and is really becoming a seasoned pro. And it's important for us to get these players time because they are important to the future of the club, and uh, we want to do everything we can to expedite that process.